guys, so I've got a lot of thoughts today about the Casarex Aloe Sun Cream, rumors that were spread about it, and what the actual results came back as. So if you remember about two months ago, uh, a post kind of went, I don't know, viral on Reddit. Uh, an employee saying the aloe sun cream was not SPF 50, it's SPF 37. It got all these uh, upvotes. People ran with it and posted all these stories based on one rumor. I did not post uh, anything saying that this was SPF 37. In fact, cameraman said, do some double checking. Don't report that. You can't, Reddit's not a source. You can't take what one employee says or maybe edited or cut and pasted and just report it as fact. And I think... Obviously on YouTube, we're not freaking journalists here, but you do have some um, ethics or it should be important to actually report things that you've verified or tried to verify or at least spent an hour or two reading about before you go and publicize it to everybody. Obviously my story about the Casarex sun cream didn't get many views. Um, it would have been more salacious and more clickable had I said, oh, new scandal, we've got another sunscreen that sucks. I couldn't do that because I I couldn't verify it as true. So I'm not going to report it. And you know what? Whatever. I got less clicks than a lot of other Reddit things and other things on the internet swirling talking about it. But I do feel like it's important not to fear monger when there's no reason to fear monger. I mean, I said, it's a rumor. Don't take it as fact. Maybe wait until the testing comes back and then continue using it. You don't need to throw it away and don't throw it, whatever. I won't talk about that in this video, but it is important not to fear monger when there's no reason to until we know the facts. And just reporting a rumor off Reddit, I could make a million salacious videos a day on just rumors with no verification. And it'll probably grow my channel faster and bigger and get more subscribers, but that's not what I'm about. I'd rather actually uh, help the consumer. I just don't think fear mongering and this sunscreen, you have to throw it away, go find new ones. Tomorrow I'll do a video on new ones. I mean, I guess I'd make more money, I'd grow faster, but I'd rather do something for the consumer. I don't know. I just feel like almost all beauty YouTube skincare channels are not about the consumer. They're about selling their product They'll give their friends good reviews and then, hey, when I come with my product, you give me a good review, which does nothing for the consumer. I'm so freaking tired of it. That is why I started my channel because almost every freaking channel is just, every product's great. Oh, I got it for free. Well, no wonder it's great. <sighs> okay, so rant aside, I'm just so tired of it. We don't need a gazillion fake review channels. I mean, if you want fake reviews, go to Sephora. But anyway, so test came back from Casarex. This came back. They came back with two tests. I believe the standard deviation was five. So plus or minus five on either side. Uh, the Korean Dermatology Research Institute came back as SPF 54.5. JS Hamilton came back at 52.2, which uh, if you look at the standard deviation, makes it around 50. Although technically it's got a 50 with a little plus after it, which in a lot of countries means it should be SPF 60. So technically, like in places like Australia, I don't know if they're going to be able to sell there anymore. But this is pretty much SPF 50, as good as it gets. I still don't recommend this product to anybody because it's got so much fragrance in it. I think it has the potential to irritate skin. But if you're using this every day and you like the formula and you like using it, keep using it. I mean, whew, I'm getting all fired up. Try not to. Calm down. Take it down a notch. The eyes are open wide. Somebody's going to leave a comment about it. Anyway, so that's the basic thing. I still don't recommend it. It's got a lot of fragrance in it, but if your skin likes it, I was really very uh, cautious when somebody said it was 37 because I look at the filters. There's several filters. It's a combo mineral chemical. I think it's got five filters in it. If this isn't 50, then there's going to be a lot more that are in trouble. So anyway, news wave. Everyone else is wrong. I was reporting the rumor and the facts. So I still say if you want a really good sunscreen, I love the new Round Lab Birch Sun Cream Reformulation. It seems to work well. It doesn't have any scent to it, no fragrance ingredients. It has a nice uh, texture to it, a lotion texture. It doesn't look super greasy. It doesn't feel super dry. 
I personally would recommend this one to more people than I'd ever recommend the Cossar X one, but I still don't think it's fair to bash on a brand and make stuff up off of one little rumor. I mean, there we go. That's my total rant for the day is I'm just tired of a lot of, there's just so much fear mongering. And you know what? If you're using sunscreen every day, that's awesome. You know what? I mean, you're still doing better than most people do. Most people generally do not use a sunscreen every day. And if they do, it's usually SPF 15 or 20 or it's in their foundation. So I don't know. If you find a formula you like, maybe it comes back at 40. It's still better than not using anything and trying to find something that you like and not being successful and then not using anything. So anyway, those are my thoughts on everything going on today. Uh, tomorrow I'll talk about a product that kind of destroyed my skin. Um, and involves cheese. So I don't know if you guys can guess from that, but... I will see you more tomorrow with my first impressions review on that product. And I'm interested in hearing your guys' thoughts. And uh, anyway, that's all I've got for today. I'm really getting into the rants. I don't know. I got to calm down, cut back on the coffee a little bit, and I think everything will be better. But anyway, it's also been like 100 degrees outside. So 100 degrees plus coffee and caffeine and beauty news equals crazy, no BS beauty. So Anyway, thank you guys so much. Leave a comment with your thoughts, and I'll see you more tomorrow. Okay, bye, guys.